Okay, good day. So, uh, we proceed to the analysis of determinate structures. So, if we say determinate structures, these are structures that can be analyzed using the three equations of uh, equilibrium. So, starting with uh, truss. So, we have several types of trusses. Okay, we have the simple truss. Okay, simple truss. We have the compound truss. Then complex and the space truss. Okay, so these are the several types of or four, four main types of uh, trusses. So if we say simple truss, if you have that basic element of the truss, so sometimes that basic element element consists of three joints, three members. Then you are just to repeat that or enlarge that uh, element. Compound truss. Uh, basically, the combination of several simple trusses and any truss that is not considered a simple truss, not a compound truss, can be considered as a complex truss. Obviously, pag sinabi naman natin a space truss, that is a truss in a 3D. Okay, so what are the methods that can be used to analyze this uh, determinate uh, trusses? So usually, uh, for a simple truss, you may use the method of joints. So, method of joints, if you have a joint having at least a maximum of two unknown, uh, maximum of two members with an unknown uh, bar force. Then we have for compound and complex, uh, you may use the method of, method of section, or the method of sections, then uh, still you may use, uh, after doing the method of sections you may continue uh, using the method of joints so it, it can be combination of method of sections and method of uh, joints okay so when it comes to complex truss this is uh, usually uh, again you can still use the method of sections you can also use the method of substitution so using a substitution member then we have for stay a space truss. I still you can you can I uh, use the method of joints or method of sections. But usually, if when it comes to problem solving, so space truss usually are the three equations of equilibrium. Method of joints or method of a uh, section is still possible depends on the situation. So let's discuss uh, more of this as we go on on our examples. So let's have an example. Okay, first of all, we have this uh, truss uh, load addition. So 10 kN at point B and 15 kN at uh, point C. For example, we are required to determine the uh, bar force, then identify whether that bar force or each bar force is under tension or under compression. So first thing to do is uh, we need to compute for we to compute for the support uh, reactions. So we may do here, so we may do summation moment about uh, point A equal to zero, clockwise moments to be uh, positive. So these are composed of, uh, this test is composed of equilateral triangles with dimension of uh, 4 meters since these are all 16 uh, degrees. So we may assume that this distance from A is 2 meters. So this is the same as uh, 2 meters, this is, so 2 meters, 2 meters is the same as 6 uh, meters, or you may compute that, this, I think it's, uh, this is obvious. So you may do summation moment about, okay, summation moment about a uh, point A equal to 0, clockwise moments to be a uh, positive. So let's say this is the vertical reaction of D, this is a ruler, so let's say this is a uh, D sub Y. So that will be 10 multiplied by 2 meters. Plus, we have this is a 15. How far? Okay, so this is supposedly 4 meters. Yeah. So 4 meters. So this is 2 plus 4. We have a 6 minus d sub y multiplied by the distance. We have 8 meters equal to a 0. So computing for the vertical reaction at point D.
So the vertical reaction of D will be equal to, so this is positive, we have uh, 13.75 kilonewtons and it is upward. So that is the assumed direction of the reaction. Then we may do summation of forces, vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be positive. So let us assume that the reaction at point A, AY is also upward. Obviously, AX is equal to zero for a reason we don't have a horizontal force acting on this uh, truss. So this will be equal to AY plus DY, that is 13.75 less, we have 10 kilonewtons minus 50 equal to a zero. So computing for the vertical reaction at A, that will be equal to 11.25 kilonewtons. So we are doing the method of joints. For this, a uh, simple, I think, a uh, simple, simple trust naman siya. Hindi naman siya ganun ka compound. So we have, uh, let us use the first uh, method, that is the method of joints. If you are doing the method of joints, okay, you are to consider a joint with at most two, or maximum of two unknown bar members. As you can see, Okay? Kung makapansin niya saan ba na magka, uh, ano ba yung mga joints na i-consider natin having two unknown bar members? So we may start on the uh, support. So if you are using method of joints, not necessarily that you are to start on supports. Kaya lang dito, nagka-count lang na we, uh, on supports, we have two unknown members. So it's either at A and at D. So let's say this is uh, joint A. Okay, so at joint A, so let's say this is A, we have the bar number for, let's say this is uh, AB, we have the support reaction at A, this is AY, with a magnitude of 11.25 kilo newtons. Okay, this is the actual force for member A, uh, E, okay? and this is, we have 60 degrees. Okay? So we may assume the direction of the forces, so in some references, yung assume nila is pwedeng automatic away from the joint. But okay, kung titignan naman ninyo minsan, medyo obvious kung ano yung direction ng axial force ng member. It is sometimes obvious. For example, we have AY is upward, to be an equilibrium, you need a force that it should be, that it should be downward. So I'm assuming AB is downward. So, or that, yes, downward, or towards the joint. So, if this is AB with a component to the left, downward to the left, siya, so supposedly AE should be to the right, to be in equilibrium. So, yun yung ginagawa ko. If it is sometimes obvious, the direction of the force is obvious, I will assume it right away. Kung upward ito, so kailangan din yung downward. If this one is to the left, we need a component to the uh, right. That is for AE. Okay, so we may do, again, if you have method of joints, method of joints usually composed of two uh, equation of equilibrium, the summation of forces vertical, and the summation of forces horizontal. Yun lang naman siya. So summation of forces vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be positive. 11.25 minus vertical component of uh, AB, that is Side up, 60 degrees, equal to zero. So what will be the actual force for member AB? And obviously this will be positive, which means correct assumption. So that is uh, 11.25 divided by sine of uh, 60. And we'll be having a value of 12.99. Okay, kilonewtons. And it is compression. So, kailan natin masasabi that the actual force is compression or tension? If the force is towards the joint, that is compression. If the force is away from the joint, that is tension. So, AB is under compression. Then again, still on joint A, we may now do summation up. Uh, forces horizontal equal to zero to the right forces to be uh, positive. So, that will be Okay, we have axial force for member AE, this purely horizontal, minus AB, that is 
We have dot point 99 cosine of 60 degrees. The horizontal component equal to zero. So what will be the axial force for member uh, AD? This is is equal to 6 point uh, 495 kilo newtons. It is tension. For reason, okay, away from the uh, joint. Then we may consider the other joints. Okay, we may proceed to joint B. So why is it now bad for the joint B? For reason, you have three members. You have one known member. It is four member A and B. So let's say we have okay, joint B. So how do we compute for uh, the two unknowns? We have B and uh, B C. Okay. So I will assume. So again, I will assume if the what is the direction of B and uh, B C. When I go see uh, B C, I cannot be at all know why it is this purely horizontal. When I go see uh, B, I will assume B will be under compression. Okay. So I will assume that the direction is. Uh, upward. So this is by summation of forces, vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be uh, positive. This is AB 12.99, vertical component is sine of, what is the inclination? 60 degrees. So sine of 60 degrees plus the actual force for member uh, BE, sine of 60 degrees, the same inclination, I minus 10 equal to a zero. So let's compute for the axial force for member B. So the value will be equal to negative 1.4 for okay, 3 kilo newtons. So why is it negative? Which means a wrong assumption. So it should be the actual force for member ABE is 1.443 4, kilo newtons and it should not be compression, it should be tension. Okay? So take the opposite sign. Okay, what do you opposite sign? Niya? Then, okay, then, balik rin niyo yung assume direction. So, instead of compression, it should be under tension. And it's equal to 1.443 kilonewtons. It is under tension. That is for member of BE. Then, if you are to proceed with member BC, Okay, so for member BC, this is by summation of forces, horizontal equal to zero, to the right forces to be uh, positive. So this is, I will have, what are two? The right. Okay, kung, 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 kung ikaw consider natin, okay, this is, AB is already to the right, and okay, its component is to the right, the same with B, uh, BE, its components also to the right. So the actual direction of BC should be to the left. So let's check if the assumed direction is correct. Submission force is horizontal equal to zero. This is, we have 12.99 cosine of 60 degrees plus, okay, pinakambit natin, 1.443 cosine of 60 degrees minus the actual force for member BC.
And it's equal to zero. All right, so we'll be having the actual force for member BC is equal to A seven point, a seven point two one, a two one sixty five kilo newtons, and this is positive correct assumption. It should be under, it should be under compression. Okay, then I just want to know members of my one, two, three, four. So we may use joint E, then a correction later on joint D. Check lang natin kung magmamatch yung mga our values. So let's say this is <coughs> joint E. So we have a joint E. Okay, so we are able to compute for the axial force for member AE uh, earlier, six point uh, four nine five. Give me a few minutes. I'm gonna go now. Say. Okay, if you go to six point four nine five tension, then we have Okay, actual force for member BE, 1.443 kilonewtons, also under uh, tension. So as you can see, uh, we have member, this is AE, so sorry. Okay, this is AE, as you can see, we have A is under tension, so, and member DE, okay, hindi natin alam, is it tension or compression? Then we have member CE. So these two are purely horizontal, these two are inclined. But I think that is a bit obvious. If we have this is as 60 degrees, this would be, uh, this is the same as 60 degrees. If this is upward to the left, I think this should be downward to be in uh, equilibrium. If we are to check that summation forces are vertical equal to zero, obviously 1.443 kilonewtons sign up. As 60 degrees minus the actual force as CE sine of 60 degrees equal to zero. If this is upward to be in equilibrium, we need a force that is with a component of downward. So obviously we have the actual force for CE is the same as 1.443 kilo newtons. But it is towards joint E, it is under compression. Okay? Then so, kung mapapansin ninyo, we have B, E, C, E, and uh, A, E, all its components, horizontal component, yung mga horizontal component ay pakaliwa. So, which means, D, E should be towards the right, which means away from joint E, which means under tension. So, this is by summation of forces, summation of forces horizontal equal to zero, to the right forces to be positive, this is axial force D, E. Minus, uh, we have 6.495 minus 1.443 horizontal component is cosine of 60 degrees minus 1.443 horizontal component for CE. Ito yan. 1.443 by cosine of 60 degrees equal to 0. This will be the axial force for member D. So we'll be having a value of seven point 
ay 9.38 kilo newtons. And it should be under tension. And the last member, or pwede naman natin ganyan for checking, at jointly, so we should match the same uh, value for a uh, DE. Then we may now compute for the last member in yung huli. Member? Uh, C. So this is by okay, at joint D. Ano yung D? 13.75. Okay, so we have at joint D, we have the vertical reaction kanina, which is 13.75 kN. Okay, we may do summation forces, vertical equal to zero, that will be 13.75. So obviously, if we have an upward force, we need a downward force for equilibrium. Minus, this is the same as 60 degrees. Axial force for member CD, sine of 60 degrees. Equal to? Zero. Axial force for member C is now equal to I do be equal to fifteen point eight seventy seven kilonewtons and it should be compression that is towards the joint. Kung yung mga pansin nyo si CD is downward to the right, its horizontal component is to the right. Which means, dapat si DE, it is to the left for equilibrium. Summation forces, horizontal equal to a zero. So we have, that is a CD that is equal to 15.877 cosine of 60 degrees minus the member of DE, axial force of DE equal to zero. We have the axial force for member DE. As a checking, dapat pareho dito. So we have 15.8. Okay, 15.877 cos sine of 60 degrees. So equal to 7 point. So equal to 7.9. Uh, 385 kilo newtons. So the same with this one. We can take discrepancy lang. So go to two, rounding. And it is the same as it should be under tension. Okay? okay so, konting summary lang. If we are to summarize, okay. We, okay, can you observe this one? We have member AB that is 12.99, BC 7.2165, then CD is 15.877. They are all uh, compression or under compression. Then we have a BE 1.443 tension yun kanina, I think. Then we have CE is under compression. Then we have AE uh, is 6.495 and a uh, DE is 7.938. Uh, so usually kapag trust, uh, we may divide the three uh, we may we may divide the members into three main uh, category. So we have okay, can we observe this one? This is or these are the members A B A uh, B C N A uh, C D. What is the common uh, what is common about these three members is that okay, they are all uh, under compression. So these are the, uh, these are the top chords. So usually if we have this uh, simple design of a truss and your loadings are vertical, usually top chords are under compression. Okay? So like yung isipin yun, kapag vertical lang yung loading at medyo simple lang yung design ng truss, usually top chords are under uh, compression. Then we have B, E, and C, E. Okay, these are the, uh, intermediate members so intermediate members they are uh, possible that they are under tension or they are under compression so doon nagkakaroon ng parang variety when it's of tension and then compression then we have if you have to observe uh, the last two members 
we have member AE and member uh, DE. So as you can see, they are both tensor. So ito naman yung mga tinatawag natin na bottom curves. Okay? So again, when it comes to simple design of truss, and if your loadings are vertical, bottom truss are usually under... Okay, being high naman na sila. Okay, bottom thrust are usually under tension. So, yun yung parang uh, try to observe the, the types of force acting in each uh, type of member. So, top chords, usually they are under compression, intermediate, possible, tension or possible under compression. You know, we have the bottom chords, most of the time they are under tension. Alright, let's for our first example. So our next sample okay, So we have this uh, truss loaded as shown uh, We are required to determine the actual force from member GF, uh, GD, and uh, CD So this time uh, we are using the method of uh, section So what is the advantage of method of section compared to method of uh, joints? So for example as you can see we have GF, GD, and CD They are far from, uh, they are far from the uh, supports and you cannot apply directly the method of joints since uh, we have at joint F or at joint G, joint C or joint D. So we have the, I think more than more than two unknowns per joint. And one thing more, uh, these three members are far from the support. So if we are to directly solve solve for these three bar forces not solving for uh, not, not considering this uh, several joints so we may proceed using uh, the method of uh, sections so usually for method of sections ano ba yung muna natin ginagawa supposedly okay, for the method of sections we may first uh, compute for the support uh, reactions so we may do summation of moment Okay, so no, summation moment about point A equal to 0, clockwise moments to be uh, positive. That will be equal to 6 times, uh, we are assuming this is uh, EY to be upward. We have 6 times 3, then plus, we have this is 8 times, uh, 6 plus, this is 2 times, we have 9, minus uh, the vertical reaction at E, uh, multiplied by, this is 12 equal to uh, 0. So let's compute for the vertical reaction at E. So we have the vertical reaction at E is equal to, we have 7 kilo newtons. Then, Okay, the summation of forces, uh, vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be uh, positive. So let us assume that we have AY is upward. Again, we have AX is equal to zero since we don't have a horizontal force acting on the uh, truss. So this is, we have AY plus, uh, EY is equal to seven, okay, minus six, Minus 8 minus 2 is equal to uh, 0. So this is and again, 16 minus 7. The vertical reaction of 8 is equal to 9. So, uh, is it 9? Keeping your thoughts. And it is upward. Same with EY. They are both upward. Alright. So we have now the support reaction. So we are to do method of section. If you are using method of section, so you may cut maximum of three members. Since sila naman yung unknown, we'll be using those three. We are to cut this uh, three members. Then separate. Separate that section. So we cut the members uh, GF, GD, and uh, CD, then expose them. So you have three exposed uh, members that are shown to be all in uh, tension. So literally, we are correct with the opposite sign. So we take the, uh, the opposite sign. 
Okay? So we have uh, here, okay, so after exposing these three, and, uh, three members, uh, we may choose a point. We may choose a point to uh, perform the summation of moments, summation forces vertical, or summation forces horizontal. Anything that is applicable to eliminate at least two unknowns, or the, to eliminate the two unknowns. Mapapansin nyo, we have three unknowns. So we should eliminate the, uh, the two. So to eliminate the two, we may do summation moment about a uh, point uh, D. So for that, we need to determine the inclination or the slope of member uh, GD. So, ano yung angle na to? Okay, we, need, we may determine this angle. So, since this is uh, 4.5, this is 3. So, may excess tayo dito na 1.5 for this triangle. So, this is 3. We may use tangent that will be uh, 1.5 divided by 3. Or, pwede natin gamitin yung slope. This is 1.5. O, sige, angle na lang. 1.5 divided by 3. Uh, the angle is of 26 point This is 26.5 uh, 65 degrees So to determine one actual force And yung una natin mga comment We may compute for the member uh, GF This is by summation moment About a D Equal to zero So ganun After cutting uh, the sections you need, you need to eliminate two unknowns to, to compute for For one so dito, I uh, will doing summation moment at D to eliminate G, D, and uh, C, D. So what will be the, um, we have two components for G, F, that is horizontal and uh, vertical. So nandito rin pala yung load na 2 kN that also be eliminated. Summation moment D F equal to, C, equal to 0, clockwise moments to be positive. At this point, this is... The rotation of the 7 kN is counterclockwise, that is negative. Negative 7 times 5 times 3. Then, okay, eliminated din yung kanyang vertical component. We are just considering the horizontal component. That will be counterclockwise minus the actual force for member G, F. Okay, horizontal component is cosine of 26.5, 65 degrees, multiplied by... Okay, this is 3 meters equal to 0. So, we'll be having the axial force for member GF is now equal to is equal to 3 times a 7 okay, divided by okay, we have 7 point a negative 7.826 So negative 7.826 kilo newtons. As you can see, our assumption is under tension And we arrive at a negative value Which means, you take the opposite sign The axial force for member GF It should be equal to 7.826 kilo newtons, And it should be Compression. Now, take note that our initial assumption is tension. But we are with a negative sign, so it means we take the opposite sign, it should be uh, positive but compression. Okay? Then we arrive, uh, then we may compute for the other, other um, bar force member. This is for member uh, GD. Or, pwede natin gawin yan by summation forces vertical. Okay, by summation forces vertical, we need its corresponding angle olet. What will be that angle? So this is 4.5 is to uh, 3. So 4.5 divided by 3. It will be equal to 56.31 okay, degrees. Okay, we, we, are to, we are not to apply the correct direction of member GF. So for member GF, the actual force for member GF is equal to okay, 7.826 kN and it is under compression. So obviously that is a top chord. Ano ba yung usual na uh, force for a top chord? It is a compressive force. So by summation of forces, 
Summation forces vertical equal to zero, upward forces to be positive. Yeah, I will assume that it is upward. What are the upward forces in this section? We have 7 minus downward 2. Then minus, since this is downward, minus 7.826 sine vertical component of 26.5, 65 degrees. Then plus the axial force for member GD. Okay, sign of 56.31 degrees Equal to uh, zero So we don't have any other vertical uh, force member So we have the axial force for member GD Is now equal to So, lumabas dito again is a negative, negative 1.803 kN. So, ano, yung, ano ulit yung assumption natin? It is under tension, but ano yung lumabas dito? It is a negative. We take the opposite sign, axial force for number GD is 1.803 kN, kN, but it should be compression. So, we are to recorrect this, the the direction, it should be compression. So, compression is for GDN, uh, GF. Okay, finally, how we can we compute for the member, axial force for member, uh, CD, that is by summation of forces, horizontal equal to uh, zero, to the right forces to be a uh, positive. So, member GF, to the right yan, horizontal component, Its horizontal component is to the right equals 7.826 cosine of uh, 26.565 degrees plus this GD that is I don't know how member GD axial force for member GD is equal to 1.803 kilonewtons and it is compression. 1.803 cosine of the angle we have 56.31 degrees. So yun na naman yung mga may horizontal force dito. Then minus the axial force for member CD equal to uh, 0. The axial force for member CD That's approximately equal to 8.799 dito. 8 kN and correct assumption. Then again, ano ba si member CD? It is a bottom cord. So usually for bottom cord, they are under. Or it is under tension. Alright. So these are the actual forces using method of section. So method of section is used to determine the actual force of members somewhere far from the support. Para hindi mo na daanan yung other members uh, before those uh, members na equal. Usually for problem solving.